I am Marcus Blake with That Nerd Show, and we are here behind the scenes of the Galactic Swag Expo 2018. Uh, first year, uh, first time convention, and we are speaking with Ryan Ashby, one of the creators. Wow, this is exciting. I mean, just walking around and seeing all of these great cars and then putting together the Millennium Falcon cockpit, I'm just really? geeking out. But what what makes this convention you know, different from from other ones. Because okay. I know you've you've attended different conventions yes. and probably thought to yourself, how can we make it better? What can we do different? Exactly. And, and uh, Scott Thurman and I, my business partner, we uh, we used to do review blogs as well, and we uh, had press passes to other comic cons and everything, and and we'd cover them, but all of them were out in Dallas, outside right. of Fort Worth area, and we're making that trip out to these different areas, and we thought. Why isn't there anything like this in Fort Worth? So we pulled some of our connections together from the review blogs and everything, and we were like, you know, let's let's try to put it together. So, um, you know, we've only been doing this for three months. And we've managed to pull this together for three months, and we have amazing, amazing sponsors. You know, Drive Exotic, right? And, uh, Shulman Theaters and All Storage. You know, they've really stepped up and helped, kind of help put put this together. Well, I think that's kind of interesting that, like you said, there hasn't ever been anything out here in Fort Worth. I mean, mm -hmm. like you, we've attend, we cover conventions, been to different places, but this is the first time we've driven out to Fort Worth. Mm -hmm. And I think that's kind of a shame that there hasn't really been anything out here. Yeah. So. And we've definitely scoured the internet making sure, <laughs> you know, we wanted to make sure we weren't stepping on anybody's toes. and, and there was nothing out here in this type of pop culture genre, so we said, let's, let's go well, for it. Well, there has been some of that, too, with multiple things being scheduled at the same time, mm -hmm. and, and I always think that's a shame, because I think fans should get to enjoy each and every different kind of convention mm -hmm. without having to compete. Yeah. So, uh, I'm looking around here, and I've seen all of these, you know, again, gorgeous cars and props and stuff like that, so I have to ask, out of everything here, I know you... You've geeked out over everything, Definitely. but what is your personal favorite? I would say, you know, obviously besides the Millennium Falcon full-size scale cockpit, right. um, we're really excited about that. But I mean, this baby right here, Back to the Future 2 <laughs> DeLorean, is since the 80s when it came out, I've I've loved this vehicle, and so for it to debut in our first show, right. I'm really excited about it. Now, me being six foot seven, I've <laughs> just found out today that I cannot fit. So that kind of breaks my heart, but it's still a beautiful car, and, and we're happy that it's here at the well, show. Well, the fact that you have the flux capacitor in there, you know, and I think you were telling us earlier that you could type in your birthday, and it makes everything light up and yes. stuff. Yes, yeah, that was yeah. really neat. And, uh, yeah, they punched in my, my birthday and pulled the lever. It hit 80 miles an hour, you know, and that was pretty cool. So we were really excited about that. Well, I think also we have to take a, a moment to uh, remember Burt Reynolds, who just yes. passed away this weekend. And Definitely. we have the Bandit car over here, too, that um, that people can uh, check out tomorrow. I think exactly. that's actually, I don't think I've seen very many of those at uh, conventions before. Yeah, it's a beautiful car, and I think it's going to do Burt Reynolds some justice. And, and right. have the fans come out here and pay tribute. So we're really excited right. to have that here. Now, in regards to conventions and stuff, do you do you favor more of the props than anything else, or like other conventions, you know, celebrities who can come out? Uh, you know, we do have a few celebrities coming out this time, but we're really kind of focusing on the movie props and the culture, and uh, you know, the vehicles, the Falcon, and and you know, the TARDIS. We have the TARDIS over right. there, and and just we're wanting the fans to be able to interact more and see kind of you know different stuff like that. So. Right. This time around, we're focusing really more on the material items, so we're kind of excited about that. Now, I know you haven't even started this convention yet, but are you already thinking about how you can top it? What what's, what what you're going to do next year? Well, we've heard Battlestar Galactica is having their 40th anniversary. They are. And uh, we'd like to be able to kind of ride that coattail maybe next year. Well, we know the guy that uh, built the life-size replica of the Viper. Sweet. Yeah, which, well. yeah. We may be calling on him next year because <laughs> we, we'd like to be able to pull that together. That's right. Dan, you might be getting a call. Exactly, so yeah. We're going to have to reach out to him on Facebook and just say we're going to put you guys together. Great. Uh, he's one of our favorite guys. We see him at all con every year. Um, but you're right. That's another good one. Yeah. All right. So here at that Nerd Show, we like okay. to ask a few different kinds of uh, nerdy questions. All right. Uh, usually we limit it to one, but this is a nerd convention. we got to do two. Okay. All right, so the first one, if you could be in 
the Star Trek universe or the Star Wars universe, what would you choose and why? Oh, I'd have to say Star Wars. Um, you know, the whole Jedi persona, you know, <laughs> using the Force, dark side. I mean, it's uh, it's always been a favorite. I was born in 78, so I've kind of a little young coming in, but I, sure. you know, I, I got to see Return of the Jedi in the theater, so that was kind of cool. And uh, my son is now seven, and seeing him fall in love with Star Wars right. all over again has been really cool. So I'm a huge Star Wars fan. Uh, that's that's a good one. All right, and the the final nerdy question we ask everybody this question okay. this year. If you could have a weapon of choice or even a superpower, something from the nerd universe okay. to fight the forces of evil, what would you choose? You know, I would say some type, you know, Jedi power, but with this time machine behind us right here i mean you could go in the future go in the past and change anything exactly well you know, you know how the turn yeah it turns out pretty bad but you know <laughs> but yeah. they fixed it in the end they did fix it in it the takes end. a few tries yeah